Hello YouTube, my guest tonight is a very, very brilliant young man. He was Mr. Gohima 2019. Please help me welcome Mr. Kevin. Hey Kevin. Hey Zayn, how are you? I am doing good, how are you? Doing great, yeah, I can't complain, yeah? You look very warm over there. Definitely, it's getting colder, so I'm trying to, you know, wear all the warm clothes obviously. But mm -hmm. I love winter, so I'm having a good time. Who doesn't love winter? Um, some people, <laughs> but definitely not me, yeah? Uh -huh, uh -huh, truly. Uh, this is your first time here. Welcome to the show. And are you nervous by any chance? Definitely. I, uh, I'm going to say that I'm nervous. Honestly, mm -hmm. yes. Don't worry. We'll have we'll a really see, yeah. chillax one. <laughs> I'll just make sure that you don't get scared. <laughs> yeah, please make sure that. Yeah. I will. So the holiday seasons are here. What are you up to these days? <clears throat> so... The past week and the coming week, I'll, I've been caught up with a bit of the first week of Hornbill and uh, I think, uh, yeah, Hornbill things are done right now, but I have some things coming up next week as well. But other than that, it's been going pretty well and I've been having a great time um, this festive season, obviously, you know, Hornbill is happening, I'm, I've been going out meeting great people, doing some stuff, so yeah. It, you are it, a very it's, busy it's a great man, week, yeah. aren't you? Not really, I just think that this is the season to be busy for a lot of us, so yeah, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. I have to ask you this, are you a fan of football? No, uh, being really honest, I'm not, but I'm watching the World Cup with my family and that's a sure thing. Um, yeah, I have, I, I have never grown up playing football, I have grown up playing football, but I haven't played an official match ever in my life so mm -hmm. and I don't know how to play it anymore I am not aware of a lot of the rules and regulations so mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of if football, I may ask you I it, yeah. if I may if I may ask you who are you supporting this World Cup I'm just supporting the best team yeah um, I don't have favorites honestly no um, mm -hmm. I was supporting the Asian countries obviously and they did pretty well and uh, now it's up to the best team it's up to, to win. yeah, may the best team win. Mm -hmm, truly. You were Mr. Gohima 2019. How was that part of your life when you were Mr. Gohima? It was one of the greatest times of my life, I would say, yes. Uh, I reigned for three years since my victory, uh, my, you know, winning in 2019. They did not organize it until this year. So I think I reigned for three years, if my math is correct. Um, so yeah, it would be one of the greatest times of my life, I would say. It's been a little tough over the past three years as well at moments, but you know, that's life. So there's that. Mm -hmm. I tried to, I tried my best to do, leave something good for, with the title that I had. I tried my best and uh, I did a couple of things and I just hope that, you know, it even made the life of someone even if, single, if it made the life of a single person better or if it made someone happy, um, I think I'm happy with mm -hmm. that. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I would not trade this experience, these three years for anything else. Mm -hmm. What did you take away from the competition? I'm going to say a lot of confidence. <clears throat> Growing up, I was a shy kid, obviously. Um, I'm not, I don't know if it's obvious right now, but I was a shy kid. I did not have a lot of confidence, but... Yeah, a lot of hap a lot can happen when you open up yourself to opportunities, opportunities, and uh, you know try to go forward with the things that are given to you that you have right now. For example, the opportunities, the opportunities that you have right now. I feel like once you start taking those, you find your way eventually. So yeah, I definitely a lot of confidence and a lot of great friends and. Yeah, a lot of optimism about life and opportunities as well. Um, I had my share of, you know, doubts and uh, moments where I did not want to, you know, do these things anymore. But I did some stuff and I'm happy about the whole journey in its entirety and uh, no regrets. Mm -hmm. So, Do you still remember <clears throat> the winning answer you gave? My winning answer? Yes. Uh, yeah, I I do not remember it quite well, but 
I think I remember enough to say a little bit about it. So the question was, what would you do if you won the title, I think? So mm -hmm. we were given this cardboard to write on. We weren't verbally answering the question, but we were right. We had to write it in a few seconds. So I said something along the lines of setting an example in whatever I do to be a good person to everyone around me, to people around me, just set a good example. Um, yeah, and I remember it because I did mean it for my heart and that, uh, you know, as lim as many limitations as I, ha I, as I have as a human being, I feel like the best I could do and the least I could do was be a good example to people around me in whatever I do. So, and I hope I did that. So You truly did. I know you did. Thank you, thank you. I hope so too. Mm -hmm. um, what made you compete for Mr. Kohima 2019 back then? So, back then I didn't initially plan on going for pageants. I never really even thought about it growing up. I think I did not. But anyway, uh, fast forward to college. Um, I started off as Mr. Fresher for the Ankami community in my college. And uh, that's where it all started. Um, one of my classmates forcefully obviously signed me up for it and uh, I won and I got a little bit of confidence boost from that. And uh, a couple months later, one of my lecturers uh, urged me to participate in Mr. Zumex, which is an inter-college pageant. Mr. and Ms. Zumex, which is an inter-college inter pageant organized by Nagaland University. And so I participated there and thankfully I won. And from there I got the direct entry into Mr. Kohima. So yeah, for me, the journey has been quite progressive until Mr. Kohima. So, um, yeah, what I learned from that especially is also that once you start taking an opportunity, there's always another opportunity waiting for mm -hmm. you. So, yeah. So One thing led that's from and another that's to how another. I started. Yeah, that, yeah, definitely. That's how I started, ended up in Mr. Kohima. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this year, you were on the judging mm -hmm. panel. How was that experience like? So yeah, um, it was quite exciting and it was a little bit of time for me to reflect on the journey that I've had as well over the past years. Um, I was on the other side of the table at one point of time and now that I am thankfully on the other side, um, I, it was refreshing and it was all, it brought a lot of great memories and flashbacks about my time as well and it was so inspiring and i was so impressed to see all the talents and the enthusiasm of, of all the contestants this year so i mm -hmm. definitely had a blast uh, doing what i did with them in their mr talent subtitle this year yeah i'm sure you did did you hope to win back then uh, definitely yeah i i did hope to win it's the ultimate prize for all the uh, ultimate goal for all the contestants but i did not mm -hmm. expect to win honestly uh I, I'm because a lot of my co-contestants were also really good so yeah I did not expect to win but I remember thinking to myself on the finale night that I this is, has been a great journey this has been a great experience and whatever happens I would not trade it for anything else regardless of whether I win or lose um, so that was what I remember thinking thinking to myself, telling myself before the, uh, on the night of the finale and uh, it ended on the best case scenario for me, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you had a blast. I had a blast. The evening was a blast for you. <laughs> yeah, it was such a <laughs> great night, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you think all these experiences has made you grow, personally? Personally, uh, I think it has definitely been a huge... played a huge role in building up my self-confidence as well, I think. Growing up, I was not the most confident kid. I was a bit shy and I was timid. Yeah, so now I definitely can say that I have grown a lot since then. Um, and mm -hmm. personally, it has helped me reflect on a lot of th uh, reflect on myself on a lot of things as well. Uh, in terms of obviously, like I said, my confidence, and in terms of just being humble and. Uh, yeah, not getting, not let, letting things get to your head because at the end of the day, we're all just trying to figure a lot of things out in our own lives as well. So yeah, mm -hmm. I think it has also helped me a lot in my personal life as well. Yeah. 
I'm sure it has. Um, how do you think the Belgian world in Nagaland has changed, in your opinion? If you have any. So, I think back in my time, I mean, pageants like Miss Nagaland for the ladies, uh, it has, they have always existed um, for a long time. But I think for the guys, I think it while we were like around the second batch, I mean, maybe there were a couple back years ago, but I think 2018 and 19 is when it started to really pick up again for even for the male uh, guys in pageants and uh, yeah it was a bit it was a bit of a fresh thing for us because we have not we had not witnessed things like that pageants for men like that back uh, growing up so yeah I it was quite a new thing for us and so far there there, there have been a lot of pageants ever since then from maybe 2018 to till now i think there has been a lot of mm -hmm. patterns that we have witnessed so it's a good thing to keep the industry going i guess in naglin and Truly. yeah to explore the mm -hmm. potentials and talents of our youth youth um yeah i think there, there can be negative pros and cons about having a lot of patterns as well but i think that's a completely entire topic that we can maybe talk about some, mm -hmm. some, uh, some other day, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's gone a lot and I'm happy to see the progress, yeah. I suppose it has. What do you think we should do more <laughs> to have such pageants? Okay, um, I feel I'm a huge believer in quality. Um, you know, just because you organize an event does not mean you have done it successfully, if you get what I mean. Um, I do, I do. You have to be genuine, I think. I believe um, when you are trying to organize an event like that, it has to... A lot of organizers should also uh, self-reflect on the why, as to why they're doing the pageants, as to why they're organizing these pageants. Obviously, we can't. Not, nothing is for free in this world, so... You have to be very careful when you're. I feel like organizers have to make sure that they are also leaving a positive impact in the lives of all these young kids, and also in their own lives as well. So I feel like this pageant has to, pageants have to, you know, impact the lives of the organizers, the, the public, and the mm -hmm. contestants all equally positively. So yeah, I it think, has to come yeah, from the heart. We have yeah, it has to come from the heart, and it, we have to find that balance where the pageant where pageants are, you know, equally contributing to positively in the life of all these parties involved, you know, the contestants, the public and the organizers. So, yeah, I think that's what truly, I would say. Truly, truly. Mm -hmm. What do you want to achieve in life, Kevin? <laughs> that's a deep question, Colin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, in life, I've... I've been thinking about it a lot lately and uh, I am not the proudest to say that I have not figured it all out yet, figured it all out yet, but I think all of us, none of us has it all figured out, you know, if you know what I mean. So mm -hmm. I'm tr just trying to trust the process and, uh, you know, doing my best in what I think is for me and I feel we're only getting older, but I feel like I'm still young enough to make mistakes and learn from those mistakes. So, yeah, I just want to be someone who is who has in the future. I just want to be someone who has been proud of his journey, proud of the things he has done, and uh, you know, uh, be be a man of wisdom as well. And uh, yeah, someone who has done his best in all the things that he's tried. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I want to be in life. I feel mm -hmm. at this moment. I, ho yeah. mm -hmm. I hope you get to achieve great things. Yeah, I hope Honestly so for Thank you. you. I wish the best for you. Yeah, and likewise. All right. Yeah. You also sing, right? I Thank do. You. <laughs> I'm just, I would say I'm just like more of a bedroom singer than a professional singer, but mm -hmm. I do sing. Um, I sing in, in my church a lot as well. So that's why I obviously grew up singing in church and I still do. And uh, it's one of the best feelings to be able to sing in your church, I feel. Yeah. It is, yeah. it is. And I must say that you have a really deep voice. 
Uh, I've heard thanks, some of your songs, so you cover songs. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. Do you think that you will ever <coughs> take singing as a full-time career? As of the work that I'm doing now, the, um, looking at the work I'm doing now, I don't think singing will become a full-time because it is not my main focus right now. But I would love to be able to sing for the rest of my life as well, you know, regardless of whether it is, uh, either it, 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 even if it is like a part-time thing. But mm -hmm. yes, I would, mm, I would love to sing for the rest of my life. Yeah. Will we ever see you compete in pageants again? Yeah, I don't, like, this is a hard question that I get asked a lot of time. But my mind could change in the future, obviously, I guess. We're always changing, our minds are always, mindsets are always changing, our opinions are always changing, so constantly. Um, I don't think right now, I will, I'm not willing to participate in further pageants. I had a great time doing pageants. Um, and I feel like, I believe that I have to firmly believe in myself, for myself, to put myself out there again and go further, even in anything, be it pageants or anything else. and. Right now, in pertaining to pageants, I don't, honestly, I don't believe in myself enough. As, as harsh as that sounds, I don't think I will be going for pageants right now, but anything can happen in the future, so there's always that possibility as well. But right now, I don't plan to, no. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I do hope that you compete in at least one more pageant or something. I mean, I kind of miss the thrill and the adrenaline that you get when you're participating in these pageants as well. Mm -hmm. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, Fingers hopefully. crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed, yeah. um, we'll Five years down the line from now, where do you see yourself in your life? So I hope to have a master's degree finished. Um, I hope to be a, pers uh, a person who is obviously proud of his journey and proud of his achievements and uh, well, someone who is well educated and ready to face the next 10 years of his life. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I think that's it, yeah. I just want to be <laughs> someone who is proud of his journey and someone who is ready to take on the years that are coming up my way as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, five years from now, you have it all figured out and will achieve great things. Yeah, I don't think we'll ever have it all figured out, but I have. To, I hope to have some things figured out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. I have to ask you this: What is your New Year resolution? Twenty twenty three is almost here. Yeah, um, I have always wanted to become a morning person, so. Hopefully next yeah. year. <laughs> Yeah, because <laughs> over the past year, I think my sleeping habits have been pushed so far that I wake up really late these days and I sleep late. So I would definitely like to wake up more early and I think that will impact my life positively in a lot of ways as well, including my discipline and make me more productive, hopefully. So that's my new mm -hmm. resolution. <laughs> I wish you luck in that. Thank you. Kevin, thank you, yeah. honestly. I wish, I wish yours yours comes true as well, your resolution, whatever it is, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. Um, before we end this, let's play a short game. It's called yeah. the top three questions. Are you ready? The top three questions. The top three questions. So what am I supposed mm -hmm. to do? So you, you just have to answer my questions. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. First question, okay. If you were to go back in time and change something about yourself, what would you change and why? I'm so bad that, at this, yeah. That's a tough one, isn't yeah, it? That's tough a tough one. one. I'm, there's a, mm -hmm. a lot of things I wish I would have changed. Mm, I, wish, I wish I studied harder in my college days. I mean, my grades were fine, but I could have done better. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wow. So, yeah. That hits hard. Yeah, it does. But mm -hmm. they're fine. They're good enough. Mm -hmm. Your second question. How would you define beauty? Beauty. Now, as I'm going to say it again. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Yeah, <laughs> we all say that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think beauty can be found in a lot of things. 
beauty is mm -hmm. different for everyone and what is beautiful to me might not be as beautiful to you so I think beauty is something that makes you feel good and makes you you know makes your mood better so mm -hmm. it's in the eye of the I feel, holder yeah. I feel like that's a winning answer don't you think? I don't know but <laughs> uh, it's been a bit. It's been a long time since since I've been in a, in a situation like this, so I'm a bit rusty. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I don't yeah. mind. Your last question. Yeah. What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life, and how would you use those lessons to become better? So, okay, the most important lesson I've learned in my life is that just give it time. You know. Um, regardless of whatever you go through, regardless of however you are feeling in the moment, um, you might be going through something, heartbreak, um, loss of a loved one, anything that hurts you really badly, deeply, I think if you give, give it enough time, you're definitely going to get stronger. Um, doesn't mean you have to move on, but you're definitely going to get stronger. You're going to learn a lot more and uh, just give things time. You know, it doesn't have to be a hard time as well. You just, uh, regardless, whatever you are doing, just give it time. Have some patience. You're gonna see see the results of being patient and waiting for the right, waiting waiting around. I don't know mm -hmm. if that made a lot of sense, but it yeah, does, that's the best I can does. do in the moment right now. <laughs> Yeah. I feel like you just have to get back on the game, Kevin. I feel like all those answers were a winning answer. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm trying to convince you here, like, right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see that. But we'll see, man. You never know what can happen. Uh -huh. Thank you so much for being here. I honestly loved having you, okay? I had a great time. What about it's you? It's been a pleasure, Zion. And I, I'll just take this time to thank you as well. It's been an honor to be on your show. And personally, I've been... I think we've been following each other for quite some time over the years and um, I have to commend you on your work ethic. I respect you so much, man. Seriously, um, you know, Thank the you. way that you are determined in what you are doing right now with your talk show and even in life, you are such a positive person and I know you try to be the best version of yourself every, every day and I can see that and uh, yeah, I, I have so much respect for you. So I hope to catch up with you sometime and uh, yeah it's been a great hopefully life. thank you so much for saying such kind words honestly i, I really it has just it. made my night i'm glad it did mm -hmm. it makes your life as well <laughs> <laughs> hopefully yeah. one day we'll have a sit down like this again yeah, once yeah, more we, we will, i'll we be shall. watching you honestly okay <laughs> i'll be watching you as well man <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you so much and have a great night uh, thank you thank you